I'm regional media film critic Sean Patrick with a review of Now You See Me Too, starring Jesse Eisenberg and Mark Ruffalo. Move, 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 move. Get some men in that pub! Men in the pub, now! You're gonna fill up on appetizers or save room for the main course? Where the hell are the horsemen? Well, you can chase them all you want. You're just gonna wind up holding your own tails. Or you can let them come to you. So what's it gonna be? Chase them? Or make a deal with me. Saying a movie like Now You See Me Too is all style or substance is like calling out a sunny day for not having the character to be cloudy. This is not thoughtful stuff. It's frothy, silly summer fun. Get your substance somewhere else. Mark Ruffalo and his crew of magic mindbenders are here to solely to look cool and entertain. And from that perspective, Now You See Me Too is some serious summer fun. In the film's timeline, it's been one year since the magicians known as the Horsemen have been hiding after taking billionaire Michael Caine's fortune. Now they're a little restless and for the adulation of a crowd. Dave Atlas, Jesse Eisenberg, is stir-crazy enough that he's begun seeking out the magical benefactors known as the Eye on his own, while waiting for Dylan, Mark Ruffalo, the group's secret leader and current FBI agent, who's at his wit's end in urging patience. Dylan is about to launch a new mission, but first he needs a new horseman. Enter Lou, played by Lizzie Kaplan, to fill out the feminine portion of the horseman dynamic, taking over for Henley, Isla Fisher, who has left the group. Lou will be uh, joining hypnotist Merritt and uh, resurrected Jack, or a new magical caper in which they'll take on an expose a tech company marketing a computer chip that may mean the end of privacy as we know it. The initial caper starts off well, but soon another magical presence interrupts the horsemen and uh, kidnapping them. Later, the horsemen find themselves separated from Dylan and somehow in Macau, China, after having just moments earlier been in Los Angeles. In Macau, the horsemen meet their kidnapper, another tech entrepreneur, Henry, played by Daniel Radcliffe, who has faked his death and has kidnapped the horsemen to assure that the fabled computer chip doesn't expose his death ruse. He wants the horsemen to steal the chip and deliver it to him in order to protect himself and give him the ability to spy on the world for financial benefit. This leads to a wonderful caper scene involving one of those only in the movie's vaults with clean rooms and pressure-sensitive doodads and clueless security guards, the perfect patsies for a group of clever masters of sleight of hand. Is the scene heavy-handed? Yes, but most of the movie is... Most of the magical nar- daring do in uh, Now You See Me Too is heavy-handed, pushing audiences toward an obvious conclusion in which a high-tech flashback demonstrates all the trickery we've just witnessed from the magic-exposed perspective. That sounds like a bad thing, but the deft hand of director John M. Chu, shockingly the same director who brought us last year's dreadful Gem and the Holograms, keeps everything light-hearted and light-headed and, and dizzyingly keeps us off kilter so that we don't mind all the pushiness of the plot. Uh, it helps that the rest of the cast, the cast of Now You See Me Too is a wonderfully charismatic group whose dynamic is even better than the first film. Jesse Eisenberg and Mark Ruffalo have a fussy and fun chemistry as they bicker over the leadership of the horsemen. Yeah, I would have liked to see Isla Fisher come back from the first film, but Lizzie Kaplan brings a new goofball dynamic to the series. It's a nice change of pace. She's easily the best addition to this budding franchise. Admittedly, there isn't much for Woody Harrelson to do, and he's stuck with a family subplot that doesn't quite pay off, and Dave Franco well, needs a little more than a great smile, but these are minor quibbles, especially as the film reaches a really fun, magical conclusion. Are some of the twists and turns of Now You See Me Too too goofy or over the top? Sure, but this is the kind of busy, super silly summer trifle that feels right being goofy and over the top. Now You See Me Too is a movie that can comfortably use the word caper, so for anyone to expect anything more <laughs> substantial than that, well, it's a fool's errand. I'm generally not someone who goes for turn-off-your-brain movies, but when they are this wonderfully entertainingly goofy, it's kind of irresistible. I'm reminded of the Fast and Furious series, a series I I shouldn't enjoy as a critic, but I find irresistible because of the lunatic degree of over-the-top stunt silliness. Replace uh, fast cars with magic and you get Now You See Me Too. Now You See Me Too has all the Robin Hood glee of the original film, with an even sillier, though slightly less dense plot. The character dynamic is familiar, yet fresh, and it's super satisfying conclusion. It offers a way uh, for for even more magical, silly adventures, and I am completely on board for this kind of goofiness. I'm Sean Patrick.